friends, it's Lisa back with a new layout for the Hip Kid Club. Uh, the assignment for today was to use exclusive HKC cut files. And I went through the cut files and I saw these leaves and I really wanted to use them and I thought it would make a very cool wreath because yeah, I love making wreath. It's a very easy design for me and I almost every time almost every time I think it turns out really cool and what I love about wreath too is that you can add it's a it's a good um, way to use all your embellishments in the kits and you can like add tons and tons of different things around your wreath and um, you just have to make a base and then you can put everything on there. My base will be the leaves, the cut file leaves, and it will be already very colorful and bold. So the embellishments I put on this time are not, not a lot, but um, usually you can put a lot of embellishments on your wreath and that's what I really like about it. So to start, I put some gesso on my paper, I let, I let it dry, and then I used the Lindy's Magic Sprays, powders, I don't know. They're powders, but then you have to add water and then they become sprays. But I didn't do that. I was too, um, um, how do you call that, uh, lazy to do that so I use them as, as powders uh, uh, like you like you would use powders that come in the, those little pots so I sprayed water on my page and then I drew um, the and then I put some powder on it and I drew uh, a circle and then I didn't like how bold that was and I <laughs> I went over it with some gesso and it became a whole mess <laughs> as you can see on the page and then I did some splatters too but it it was it was I it, I didn't really like it but then when I put the leaves on it it was really it, it was okay so here are all the leaves and I backed them with different colors and the colors I used are very, very bold. So I also used some white to uh, break this boldness, <laughs> to add some, some yeah, lighter stuff too. And I think the white, um, match is really good it, it's really something that balances the whole thing I'm putting the leaves down and then when I have it as I like it I just glue it down um, yeah and I always turn the page uh, in every direction just to see if the wreath is um, really around because sometimes you have your page in front of you and it looks very round but then when you turn the page it's not really round anymore it's more <laughs> oval <laughs> like a potato shape and um, so I have to turn it in every direction just to see if it's really round and this is not really round now at the moment but when I add those um, leaves that aren't backed uh, I, I can um, really add to the places that that need some some more um, yeah adding to <laughs> um, sometimes I don't know if what I say makes sense but I hope you understand what I mean as always I create a frame for my layout but I think you can see it in the final pictures because when I took the pictures I couldn't really uh, because it was so uh, full of mixed media, the paper was all warped up and I couldn't take a good picture of it um, without like having um, some frame on one side and on the other side you wouldn't see the frame and it was all like messy and I just decided to photograph it without the frame. 
So and then I'm going through my pictures and as you can see I keep my pictures in this really cool cool pouch my sister gave to me with the glitter in in the on the sides um, and it's like it's a shaker pouch <laughs> and I keep all my photos there and um, yeah so if you uh, wondered how I uh, if I use the pictures first and then um, I get inspired by them or if I um, make the layout first and then just choose a picture it's really that way around the second one I do the layout and then I choose a picture that really goes with it and uh, when I started scrapbooking it was the other way around but I I prefer to um, just go with the stuff I have and get my ideas and then just take a picture that, that goes with it. And I almost always find a very good picture. And if I don't, I just go through my pictures on the phone and I print a new one. Okay, so I back my picture with some uh, patterned papers. And then I'm using the enamel dots that come in the kit and those enamel dots were very cool because they were brown and they were like this um, yellowish mustardy color and and the colors went perfectly with the colors I had on the leaves. So I'm adding those and that that's um, just an example of how how easy it is to add something to wreaths. You can just add enamel dots on where you want and then um, I go through the embellishment and then I use a fox and I use some leaves and it's just like so easy to add. But I, like I said, I didn't want to add too much because the, the wreath was already really bold. And I'm going through this stuff and just checking if I can add something but nothing really was just was perfect what nothing really was making it better <laughs> than before I want I wanted to use those foxes um, both of them but I'm I'm going just with the little one the other one was too much and then yeah I used those pretty 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 uh, stickers the leaves, the flowers. And uh, yeah, I, lo I love this. I love the exclusive stickers this month. It's, they're just the cutest, cutest, cutest. Yes, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, okay, my cat just did something and <laughs> I think she fell. <laughs> okay, I'll have to check on her later. Um, so I'm using uh, the puffy word stickers from the kits which are exclusive too and I love the font on them. It's most pretty, like the prettiest font. And then I use the words blended and I use the word friends. Oh yeah and I took the flowers off because it was too much and you couldn't really see what I was what the word was, what the words were. And then, uh, yeah, just adding some hearts and flowers and flowers. And I don't know, stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried to use those acorns, and also today I made an, uh, I made a hip kid club layout and I wanted to use them again but <laughs> it never works but they're so cute I want to use them maybe on the next layout oh yeah and then I use those little crosses which I think look pretty cute I don't think you can see them very well in, in the end result but oh well yeah guys so and I think that was it I'm adding my white splatters like almost always because I like it and yeah Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Leave me some comments. See you very soon. Bye-bye.